Would it be cool for you to get an advanced tip on how you can hit amazing topspin forehands? Well, you're in the right place if the answer is yes. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, the founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP player, and I am very committed to helping players get access to the right information, tips, drills, strategies to help you all out there get better. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I call the hand turn finish on the forehand, a way that you can get more topspin, more devastation behind your forehand. Now, this is an advanced tip. So before you start going out and tinkering with this, make sure that you have what I call the high finish down. So if you wanna get more topspin on your forehand, I really want you to focus on a low to, low to high swing where you finish in this position. You'll notice how at the very end, the butt cap is facing towards the net, the tip of the racket is back towards the fence, and I'm swinging low to high in an exaggerated fashion. I'm keeping the racket on the plane, I'm keeping the strings on the plane longer, and I'm extending out towards the target, and I'm creating rotation that way, okay? So this is a great way by finishing in this fashion, having the correct grip, making sure you drop underneath the ball and swinging low to high, you can really create that rotation. So today, I actually wanna show you what I call the hand turn finish. It's a different swing path, and it looks something like this. Okay, so you'll notice where I finish at the end, I finish a little bit lower. You'll see a lot of the pros swing across and finish in this position. You'll actually see Rafa Nadal when he swings, a lot of times he'll hold his racket here when he's warming up. I like to teach this a specific way that creates consistent results. So let's break it down. When it comes to the grip, I want that semi-Western grip. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it today, but make sure that you have your trigger finger, or your index finger spread, and you have the heel of the hand off of the racket. You're in that semi-Western or, or uh, Eastern grip, and pr preferably semi-Western, but some of you out there like that Eastern grip. This is going to allow you to, to come from underneath the ball and have that feel in your hand. I believe tennis is game played in the hand. There's a lot of talk about shoulders and hips and core, and yeah, that's all important. Okay, I'm not discounting it, but I do think there isn't enough uh, emphasis playing the game with feel and using the hand. I think this is why the Europeans, the French, the Spanish, they really understand tennis and feel. They're more artistic and, and play with their hand more. I was, I was raised to be a little bit on the technical side, and even though I'm a technical coach, I like to come at it from an angle of more feel and more relaxation. So we've got the grip right. Of course, we've got our first move, nothing changes here. What we're really talking about today is the swing path. So to get more topspin, what do you think you have to do? Do you swing across really fast, or do you swing up and then come back down? What's the answer? Okay, it's swinging up and then back down. If I swing, if I swing across my body, that is gonna be a flatter, that is gonna be a flatter trajectory. It still has topspin on it, but it's going to be flatter, okay? If you wanna hit with more topspin, you wanna go up and then down. So what comes up must, must come down. It's more of a circular swing path, up and then down. And what I like to do, is I like to swing up and you'll notice that when I swing, I feel like I'm almost throwing the racket head out towards the ball. So this is different than the low to high swing path where you stay on the plane like this. You're actually throwing the racket tip and you're releasing the hand. You're having that feeling and then you come around your body like this. You really have to go up before you come down. You can't just go straight across like this. That'll be a choppier, more rigid swing that's not as consistent. So you go up and then you come down and it's a smoother swing. I'm not teaching racket head speed here. Racket head speed and acceleration can come later. We're focusing on ball control. So to get more topspin with this swing path, you wanna have a smooth swing up and then down. See how long it takes me up and then down. It takes a long time for me to swinish, finish that swing. I'm not swinging really fast across my body. So we go up and then we go down. Now I like catching the racket. Very, very important to have a consistent finish every time. So I like going up and then I go down and I catch the racket in the throat. A lot of people have a hard time with this. They swing 
and then they catch it maybe in their throat like this, and I'm not on the throat, on the grip. I like catching it on the throat of the racket. I like feeling like there's a lot of extension that I'm almost reaching out, out, and then I'm coming back. And you, again, notice up and then down. There's plenty of topspin on that ball when you swing this way. This is a smoother swing, a more controlled swing that develops the ball control that many of you out there are struggling with. And again, this is a tip that a lot of coaches are not talking about. They're not talking about ball control, they're talking about racket head speed and, and acceleration, right? I think we're skipping steps. I think we gotta get the ball control down. Focus on ball control and, and focus on that smooth swing and making sure that you go up and then down. And I like, a lot of, a lot of players that struggle with topspin on this, when they finish, when they're done, their racket is in this position. Now with an Eastern grip, it, it would look like this. But if you have complete relaxation at the end, look at where my racket is. It's, it's down. It's almost like I have a sword that I'd be pulling out of my pocket like this. So I want the tip of the racket facing down when I'm done. So that tells me that I went up and then I went down. If I'm gripping the racket too tight, look what my racket does. If I relax, look what the racket does. So that shows you if you're relaxed enough at the end of the swing. If I'm tight, it looks like this. If I'm relaxed at the end, even like wiggling my fingers like this, look how the tip of the racket is facing towards the ground. That's that relaxation that we're looking for. So to review, let's get the right grip. Let's make sure the index finger is spread. We get the semi-western, maybe the eastern grip. Let's make sure that we swing up first, then we come down. Ideally, catch the racket in the throat. Some of you aren't going to like that, so you can just swing like this. But notice how the tip of the racket is down towards the ground, almost like I could pull a sword out of my pocket like this. You wanna make sure it's down. You don't want it in this position. Make sure you swing in a smooth, controlled fashion as you go up and down. That's gonna create a nice, smooth, relaxed topspin swing. And again, this is an advanced tip. I don't think everyone should go out there and try it. Make sure that you get that fundamental low to high swing down first, and then you can add this smoother swing. I've got many players that gravitate towards this swing path when they wanna create more shape on their forehand, and you can try it too. So I hope you enjoyed today's topspin forehand lesson. It's an advanced tip that can help you go to the next level. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, tell all your friends about Tennis Evolution. We wanna keep helping people all over the world. Click the link in the description to get more free tips. We want you to subscribe to our website, get those free tips. Somewhere in this video, you can also click to go to the next page and go to the next level with your game. This is Jeff Salzenstein. Thanks for your time. Leave a comment below and make sure you get subscribed to our website to get those free lessons because any committed player that wants to get better is in the right place. Thanks again. We'll see you at the next lesson.